Hey everybody, Chad here. I'm just showing you today my very first hand cut dovetail. We're starting off here with a piece of scrap soft maple that I had from some picture frames that you can actually see in the background. As you can see, I'm using my Lee Nielsen number no. 7 bench plane to square off the four faces of this piece of lumber. The first step is to get the two narrow faces about parallel so that they can fit in my vise so I can go ahead and flatten one of the longer faces. Then I'll go ahead and mark the edges all the way around so I can make the two larger faces parallel to each other. After that we'll square up the two side faces so that all four of the faces of the board are squared to one another. And now it's time to shoot the end grain. I'm using the same Lee Nielsen number no. 7 bench plane as my shooting plane, and we're getting just that first face flat. Now we'll go ahead and cut off one board for the dovetail joint. Square off both the inside faces of that cut, and then cut off the ugly side of the second board. So now for the marking out of the actual dovetail joint. I'm marking about an eighth of an inch in from the edges of the board and then using the walk method with my dividers in order to get three tails on this first board. Then I mark the angles so I can actually see the lines when I'm cutting with my Lee Nielsen tapered dovetail saw. And I start cutting. I cut all the same orientation cuts all at the same time. After that I cross cut the edges and then I come in with my fret saw. This wasn't working for me so well, so I quickly changed to my chisels to chisel out the waste. Using a fret saw is definitely the way to go for this operation, but the one that I was using just wasn't cutting it for me, and I think that I just had it set up wrong. Later in the video, you'll see that I got the new Concepts fret saw, which seems to be preferred by many professionals. Now since I have the tails cut, I can go ahead and mark out the pins on the second board. I saw out the waist on the pins board the same way I did on the tails board, cutting all of the same orientation all at the same time. tried to chisel out the waste. It's much easier to saw out the waste than chisel it out, but at least this is good practice for when I want to start doing half-blind dovetails. I left for a work trip right after this, and while I was gone I ordered the new Concepts fret saw, and then I began to saw out the waste with my new saw. to chop, 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 and pair, 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 pair. Then it's a dry fit, then knocking off the edges of the tails. I made sure to check for a square joint. And now it's time to glue it up. The final step is to plane flat the faces and the end grain of both of the boards. It may not look great, but hey, that's my first one. By the way, let me know what you think of this video. It's also my first one. You're welcome to subscribe and stuff. Thanks for watching.